I call myself a dinosaur because lighting technology has really moved at a huge, fast pace. And here I am, 81, and uh, with, with, you know, suffering all the problems that 81-year-olds suffer, but my eyes are still good. My feet can fall apart, but as long as my eyes work, I'm a lighting designer and loving it. My name is Jennifer Tipton, and I've been nominated for a Tony for To Kill a Mockingbird for the lighting. My father's favorite game was baseball, so we had a, a small baseball diamond. And I can remember thinking that when I grew up, I wanted to have 10 children, nine baseball players and a girl. <laughs> and of course, baseball players are all boys, so. What was she gonna do? Oh, she was just gonna, you know, be a girl. Somehow, with no children, <laughs> I've ended up very differently. Really, dance concerts were my first theater. I did a dance concert, and people, it was modern dance, and people laughed, and it didn't bother me. And my mother said, well, why didn't it bother you? And I said, well, they'll learn. <laughs> they let me come to New York all by myself for two weeks in December of my senior year in high school to study with Martha Graham. I always had confidence, let's put it that way. And I always knew what I wanted to do. That's not true. I changed my mind often, but each time I knew what I wanted to do. <laughs> well, and my mother, being a physicist, she went to the University of Georgia and she wanted to be a chemist. She went to the chemistry department. They wanted no part of women. So uh, she went to the physics department where they greeted her with open arms. I went to Cornell. University. I went wanting to be the first person on the moon. My mother, on the other hand, said that the letter, my application letter, sounded like Cornell was a dance school. <laughs> Spent all my time in the dance studio rather than the physics lab and graduated and came to New York to be a dancer. I um, became a, 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 a sort of a, a rehearsal mistress for the company that I had been dancing for, the merry-go-rounders. And so I went to the performances to be able to critique the dancers. And as I say, I looked at the bigger picture and that was light. I fell in love with it and I have been in love with it ever since. To Kill a Mockingbird has been sort of special. My parents, the, the adults in that family and I with the daughter of the family were um, very close to um, Harper Lee. Also, there was a time when my father walked through the living room when the TV was on and To Kill a Mocking, the movie To Kill a Mockingbird was on. And he said, oh, and he stopped and he watched the movie and he said, you know, that's my father. Atticus Finch was my father. My father's father, my grandfather, was a small town lawyer in um, a southern town of Sylvester, Georgia. And he was liberal and he was paid by vegetables just like Atticus Finch. In working on the play, I realized that my father, too, was very much like Atticus Finch. The uh, poor girl in the movie who accused Tom Robinson of the rape was my cousin, it was played by my cousin. So To Kill a Mockingbird is very, very special to me. And the fact that I have a Tony nomination just to put the icing on the cake is terrific.